Hi friends, welcome back to All Around Law. This is a surgery clinical vignette. And today, I'm going to give you the case history and you have to tell me what's the diagnosis and what's the treatment or what's the important step in that. Okay, this is important for step 2 CK, USMLE. Okay, so here this is a clinical vignette for you. Let's start. A 70 year old man comes to ER with a chest pain. Chest pain. He was taking shower. Okay, he was taking shower uh, in a bathroom and he fell down and hit his left chest to come on. Left chest to come on. Okay, and on examination, there's a pain, severe pain in the direction or the sixth rib on the left side, sixth rib at the level of anterior axillary line. Anterior axillary line, okay. So chest x-ray was taken. Chest x-ray was taken, okay, and come confirms the presence of rib fracture. Rib fracture, okay, and no other any abnormal findings. So now tell me what do you wanna do? What's the next what's the best step? You want to admit the patient or you want to take an EKG? What do you want to do? Remember guys, the plane refraction is the most common chest injury. So nothing to worry. Okay. Though there's a severe pain, you can give a painkiller, rest. Okay. Either you can be achieved by the, you can reduce the pain by nerve blocking. Okay. But remember, no need to do any strapping or a binding, right? Or any kind of EKG test or CAT scan, nothing. It's just plain rib fracture. That's it. Okay, guys. So that's it. And remember, um, in in elderly patients, okay, splinting and hyperventilation leading to pneumonia. It can lead to pneumonia. Okay. So what you have to do is just local pain relief, and this can be achieved by nerve blocking also. Okay. So this is about the case history, chest pain. Thank you so much.